Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. As you can see by the uh, change of scenery, I am currently in my truck. We are going to be heading out to a new antique store that I have not been to. It is called The Sleepy Poet in Charlotte, North Carolina. I dropped my mother-in-law off at the airport this morning and it was a very short drive here. So I figured that it was definitely worth it while I was already in the area. So I'm excited to take you guys along with me. Let's see what they have available. Hopefully there are some good finds and if I pick anything up, I will bring it back to the home and share with you guys what it is I grabbed. So let's head into the Sleepy Poet. It's so fun going to a new antique store for the first time because you never really know what it is that you're going to find there. The first booth I walked into, I saw these beautiful onyx horse head bookends that would be such an amazing statement piece on a bookshelf. Very quickly into my trip here at the Sleepy Poet, I came across this booth called the Old Crow. And let me tell you, I could have spent at least half an hour just looking at this booth. They had a ton of those incredible vintage Turkish pots, some terracotta pots, the wicker seagrass, and these beautiful milk jugs that I've been trying to find for months and months now. So I was so excited to be able to see these. They also had these incredible found wood pedestal trays. I picked this one up a few times and almost went back for it and ultimately decided if it is there next time, it's meant to be but they just had so many unique finds that would look so gorgeous in anyone's home. I really loved the variation of breadboards that they had. If you have some big open wall space in your kitchen, it would be a great idea to do a collage of some of these. These wooden benches would be such a great way to add some texture into a narrow hallway or at the foot of your bed as well. And they were all fairly reasonably priced. The smaller ones ranged about 80, 70 to 80, and the larger ones would go upwards of 230, but they were very, very intricately detailed. So I do feel like it was justified. This planter was such a fun find. It had that beautiful aged detail into it and was only $15. So it's definitely worth going through booths that even on first glance might not catch your eye. You can find some really fun stuff. These bud faux floral stems are such a fun find. I actually have seen these on Amazon before. So I'll have those linked down below if you were looking to add some of this to your spring or summer decorating. I also thought that this carousel horse was so, so cool. It's one of those things that I always look for at an antique store to see if I can come across one. If you love decorating in a more coastal direction, I thought that this driftwood bowl with the nautical glass globes in it would be such a fun way to style a coffee table. Okay, so now we are back from the Sleepy Poet. I'm super glad I made the trip while I was already in the area. This is definitely a different type of antique store in comparison to The Depot. The Depot is truly, truly a destination spot that you are going to find one of a kind pieces of home decor and such, but you're also going to find some really big, large furniture pieces. The Sleepy Poet is not that. 
I'm still very happy that I went and was able to walk through the entire area. It was very digestible in size. You didn't have to commit to being there for a couple hours, which is actually really nice sometimes. You don't want to get lost and just be overwhelmed by too many things. So I'm super happy that I made the trip out and I was thrilled to finally find these wooden milk jugs at an affordable price. I have been struggling to find some that were less than $100. I found one a couple months ago and it was wobbling like crazy. So I was super excited to be able to find these. These just are a great tabletop decor piece as is, but they also have that opening. So if you wanna put some floral stems in it as well, so I got this one as well as a smaller one so I could have them paired together. They do come across a little bit orange on camera and they actually are slightly orange toned. So my plan is to actually take some bleach with a scrub brush and just kind of scrub them down a little bit and leave them outside in the sun to dry to just lighten up the overall color ever so slightly. I have a dark coffee table, I have dark kitchen counters, so I would it wouldn't be the worst thing to bring something lighter into the space. And the last find that I found was this gorgeous dark brown pitcher. This was only $12, which I thought was awesome. It'll look great, especially with some lighter colored florals so that the heavy contrast between the two will really pop. I honestly might put this in our half bathroom. That might be a fun little detail, but I really love the handled detail and such. This is heavy. I like the glaze on it too. So I was super happy to be able to find both of these items on my trip. And especially these have been one of those items on my list for months and months and I haven't been able to find affordable ones. So I'm super excited to be able to style these in our home. So that is going to wrap up today's video, friends. I sure hope that you enjoyed this recent trip I took to the Sleepy Poet. Definitely leave me a comment down below. What is your favorite item that I shared in the Shop With Me portion? That wooden found pedestal, the rounded one. I had gone back a couple times and picked it up and ultimately decided not to get it. It was $59, which is reasonable for a tray like that, but I just didn't want to be doing a doozy of a trip. So if there happens to be another one while I'm out antiquing, it's meant to be. But sometimes you got to just restrain yourself. So I sure hope that you guys enjoyed. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you are new, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my YouTube family. And if you missed my last video, I did a faux terracotta planter as well as a lavender topiary DIY. So definitely check that out. I will have it linked in the video description for you. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.